has lost some of his gloom in the sobering, melancholy environment. Tonight is a wedding night, and it seems as if the birds have come out to sing for the occasion. Little do they know, for they have overlooked the one thing that creeps through these dusty streets all too often, the possibility that there will be death at dusk. <laughs> Let's pray to God you're packing under that frock coat, Malachi. Back to Quaid? That's right. And now that I've found you, you're gonna face me and draw. Ow, you know me better than that. Turn around! If I turn around, you'll drop me where I stand. I don't have a gun and I'm not turning around. Let it go down in the Lord's letter that you shot a man of the clock in the back. <laughs> Cry me, Father. How long ago was that? We've been replaying that moment together for what, 15? <laughs> 20. 20 years. How'd you ever get Crazy Quaid close enough to do him in with your Bible anyway? I talked. Before long, he was pressing the barrel of his colt into my back. I spun around and hit his gun hand first with a good book. Then one hit to the head and he went down. Sometimes I think I wear the cloth now just trying to repay that act of violence with the book. I was eight years old. You've taught me a lot since then, Father. Yes, well, now it's 20 years later, and I'm old. You're a sheriff, and after tonight, you'll be calling me father in a different way, Randy. My daughter has waited a long time for this day. I have, too. You've been putting it off, Mr. Miller. And it's about time you tied the knot. Oh, she talked you out of wearing your gun today, huh? Yeah, she wouldn't have it. I don't see why he insists on wearing that hideous thing you call a coat. It's a wedding we're going to, for God's sakes, not a mud raking, Duncan. Huh? Why, well, it's all I have. Besides, Clark likes it. Don't you, Clark? See? Good evening, Sheriff. And let me be the first one to say congratulations. You're a luckier man than I. Father. Congratulations, Sheriff. You have my best. Never had the guts to take a leap myself. Mind you, I'm not knocking it. Congratulations, Sheriff. Father. Congratulations, Mr. Miller. I must say you have impeccable taste and incredible luck with women. Uh, may I supply a corsage for you to give the bride? Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Sheriff. Best wishes. Evening, Cavanaugh. Evening. I expected there to be a better turnout for this. Yes, most of them say the doctor's warning about the wedding. Doc said it never happened. Besides... Yes, well, uh, the doctor's not here now, is he? No, he went to two back three days ago. We took Clamper with him. They were due back today. I, for one, am glad he's not here. He just spoiled it for Sheriff Miller. Shut up, McFarlane. Miller's wrong for taking Marietta. He knows how Dr. Hyde feels about her. Uh, how does he feel about her? Uh, oh, well, uh, I guess this is all of us. Uh, shall we begin? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. If you'll take your place, Randy. Gentlemen? All right, Whoopi! <laughs> one too many times, Sheriff. You are charged with high treason and conspiracy against the federal government. You have no right, Hyde! Oh, but I do, Mr. Miller. These are termination papers that relinquish your duties as Sheriff. In your absence, Mr. Clampett has been sworn in as Deputy Sheriff for our humble township. And since the Territorial Marshal will not be out this way for quite some time, I have been invested with the power of the Fraternal Order to hold a hearing for you. 
All signed and ordered by the representative of the territorial government in Tubac. I am terribly sorry to interrupt this happy occasion for you, Marietta, my dear. These are federal affairs, you understand. Now hold on, Jebediah. I cannot let you disrupt our ceremony. Step aside, Malachi. This does not concern you. For heaven's sakes, man. This is their wedding day. Have you no coup? You try my patience. I will not ask you again. Step aside. You go against the Lord on this, Jebediah. I have no time for religious mumbo jumbo. Papa! Hi, you madman! Capital, restrain Mr. Miller. Clampy, don't do this. You're going to be released in six months. This will destroy your review. Shut up, Miller. The doc moved my review up. I've already been released. Clampett, you've got to stop this, I beg you. Clampett is a homicidal maniac. Begging will only provoke him. You're not cured at all, are you? Why are you doing this? You're the maniac. You're the insane one. You make me sick. Marietta. I hate you. I will always hate you. Do as he says, Kavanaugh. No! Can't you see why I am doing this, my dear? Remove yourselves now. Back to my parlor. Not them. I want them to see this. Clamp it, get a rope. Now I see what you're doing, Hyde. You never planned to arrest him in the first place. Clamp it, Farland. You don't know what the doc's doing. Oh, it's very clear to me what he's doing. Clamp it. Don't you remember what he's done to us? I'm free from all that. Not only free, Clampett. You now have power. Power I've given you. You're sick, Hyde. Another word, and you'll be joining the late Reverend. Now, why don't you watch over the distraught lady? She is beside herself. Kavanaugh, Clampett, there. Where? There. By resisting arrest, you have admitted your guilt. It also proves you to be dangerous and a direct enemy of the people. Undermining the operation of Gouliard Asylum, you have threatened the lives of all its inmates. By causing delays in needed medicines and supplies, you are charged with conspiracy, high treason, and attempted murder. How do you plead? What? I have no You're crazy! Let me go! By the power invested in me by the territorial government, I pronounce you guilty and sentence you to be hanged by the neck until death. No! No! I'll, I'll get you, honey! If there's any possible way, I will come back and haunt you till you die! I am haunted by so many. I doubt I'll recognize you among them. <laughs> tolerate disobedience of any sort in Nightfall. Clampett and Kavanaugh will carry out my orders to the letter and with no resistance. Now, I have much work to do. Bring Miller's body to my laboratory immediately. Uh, then see if Max has time to make a casket for our departed brethren. Take the inmates back to their quarters and see that the other gods check them in. Marietta also. Obviously, she'll be needing care. Quickly now, the body. I'll prepare my laboratory. souls 
here at nightfall. Science here in the Gouliard operating chamber. 